<laughs> Don't ask me any dates because you know I got you. Hold on, hold on one second. Look, that's when I stepped in. Let's start over. All right. <laughs> Tell that's when you. That's when I stepped in. All right. Uh, go ahead. Solomon, um, back here again. Um, what's the feeling like just being back here at FSU now? Um, definitely weighing out my options uh, with the recruiting process, but it was just it just felt great to be back on. What was so great about it? Just I mean, what things stood out today? Just the relationship with the coaches. Again, Coach Atkins and Coach Navelle are very real, very great guys, and I want to play for guys like that. Now, you mentioned that you obviously weighed out your options. You were at Florida yesterday. Mm -hmm. How did that visit go, and you know, kind of what was Florida State's reaction to you visiting with the game? Oh, they had no problem with me yeah. visiting. Um, they knew what they had to offer, and they know the relationship between me and them. Uh, so it was, it was never a, you can't go there or any kind of <laughs> – uh, anything like that, it was just like, have fun. You yeah. know, I mean, the recruiting process it only happens one time, you know, in a lifetime. So um, take advantage of it, yeah. is what they tell me. With, with FSU, uh, I guess talk about more about the relationships, consistent relationships with Coach Atkins and Coach Norvell. What really makes you so comfortable with those guys? He's a hands-on coach, uh, a coach that's going to step in when times get hard, and those are the guys that, that I look for in recruiting. Okay. Now, did you get a chance to spend any time with either one on one on one today? No one on one, but of course you still you still talk throughout right. the uh, throughout the what was the scrimmage? scrimmage throughout the scrimmage. Right. And you know, obviously, Coach Norvell is a guy that tells prospects all the time. You, you know, weigh your options. He wants you to find the best fit mm -hmm. for you and for us. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of what has been his message over the last couple of weeks uh, with you guys have interacted. Oh, uh, same thing. Just checking on me and my family. It's never. I can say I, I haven't been yet recruited by Florida State. Okay. I can say I haven't been recruited by Florida State yet. Uh, the recruiting process has not really begun yet. Uh, I've been recruited by other schools. Right. Um, but I have not been recruited by Florida State. So I, it's, best, it's, it's definitely a relationship built before I even, and this is before I even committed. Guys usually commit after, you know, people ask, you know, how's recruiting? Um, and that's the question people ask before they commit. I committed, and it was and there was never a quote, quote unquote recruiting process um, mm -hmm. coming from Florida State. It was all real and genuine. Yeah, yeah. what's kind of next for you on the with the recruiting process? Any other unofficial visits? Uh, that are, and when do you plan to be back here? <laughs> dates. I don't know. I don't know um, nothing about dates. Was there anything new that you saw today that you didn't get to see uh, on previous visits? To it was. Ne it's, it's nothing. Like I mean. When you when you're away from the program, you kind of miss it, and then you try to look for it in other schools, and it's just like, uh, uh, and then you get back home, and just like, oh yeah, I'm, I remember this feeling. Um, I remember uh, committing. Uh, Coach came to the school, and I think it was um, it might have been a practice or a game, and I think I, I said in the interview that um, um, my my decision is like really close. Uh, mm -hmm. I said something about yeah. being able to make a decision maybe today or tomorrow or you, you a couple did. weeks from now, a couple months from now. But I ended up, you know, putting a gun on it. So um, it's just good to be home. <laughs> it's just good to be home. Right. Solomon, um, yeah. practice today. What did you kind of see just watching them scrimmage? What kind of really jumped out at you, whether it's the offense line or just the offense in general? Uh, I realized that. Coach Atkins is, is, is going to lose a lot of guys coming in. Um, I mean, losing a lot of guys after this football season over with. Okay. Uh, which I feel like he's doing a great job on uh, replenishing the, the the caliber of offensive linemen that he likes. And uh, with me coming in in that 25 class, I feel like I'll definitely be uh, a staple. Offense in general, how, how exciting, explosive is oh, it? Oh, it's great. <laughs> the, the offense is looking great. Um, uh, DJ Ong Ongugale, yeah. he's looking good. That's a big Tr behind dude. Yeah, <laughs> like he's like with 250. Yeah, yeah. that's Two a big guy. 255. That guy's huge, and I seen him in person. I'm like, yeah, you kind of bigger than what I thought. <laughs> so, um, and then of course I watched him when I was in uh, middle school. When of course his yeah. process and everything, his All American stuff, yeah. and I've been following this whole time. So now he's at my school. It's like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> you had mentioned um, when you came in January, you're not a big like recruiting process guy compared mm -hmm. to some of these other big recruits mm -hmm. do you like think you envision yourself maybe like shutting down your recruitment at any point ahead of signing day I do you do I do, do you have any idea when that could be or just sort of I don't with it? I don't but I definitely feel like it's near um I'll like the thing for me is 
playbook, getting to, getting to know the offense, uh, getting to know how they operate is the biggest thing for me. I feel like once you have that and, and you can fully commit and shut down your com uh, recruitment is where the real work begins. Yeah. yeah. Solomon, feeling, obviously we talked about the feeling being back here. Just, just dress, kind of get where you, where you feel your commitment is. How strong is it? Very, uh, very strong. I mean, I come here knowing it's worked. Uh, it reminds me of my school. Practice is always going to be harder than the game. Okay. And in the locker room, that's all the guys are talking about. Man, I'm gassed, man. Like, you know, like, bro, ain't no way the game going to be hard. He's like, bro, it's not going to be harder than this, bro. Like, yeah. bro was like, um, uh, in, in the game, I mean, in practice, he over here is huffing and puffing <laughs> and uh, on his knees, taking a knee. He was like, in the game, he sitting back chilling. Right. So it's like, but that's what you want. That's what you want um, in, a, in a college practice. So that the game in the game can definitely slow down for you and once the game slows down for you the it's your 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 success is endless perfect awesome thanks so much